Okay guys, so we have a really big problem and I would say this is an emergency video. In the state of New York, we have a bill, Bill A416. And what this bill will allow is the governor to decide by decree that she can arrest and detain indefinitely the unvaccinated and put them into camps at will without due process, without judge or jury. So if you're deemed a public health risk or someone who may be a public health risk, it actually uses that exact language, may be a public health risk, it allows her to just come and kidnap you and put you into a camp. And I'm not, this isn't a conspiracy theory. I'll read the exact language of the bill from nysenate.gov which I'll leave a link to in the description below, by the way, so you can go leave public commentary and contact the legislatures in New York as well if you can and say how much you vehemently oppose this. Say it respectfully. Say it professionally, for lack of a better term. But at the very least, you can go leave a comment. Anybody can. Uh, on the state website here, Assembly Bill 416. I'll just read it. I'll literally read it. It says here, um, 2120A, removal and detention of cases, contacts, and carriers who are or may be a danger to public health. Other orders. One, the provisions of this section shall be utilized in the event that the governor declares a state of health emergency due to an ep epidemic of any communicable disease. By the way, this doesn't just apply to COVID. They could do this for people who they suspect of having HIV. You realize that, right? For all you leftists and liberals out there, they could just round up, you know, theoretically, and I'm not, I hope YouTube AI doesn't pick this up out of context. Theoretically, the governor could round up all the gay people uh, for, for suspecting of having HIV or something. Um, and, and just put them into a camp. So, so this is, you know, this can be used by any, uh, by any measure, right? It's not just for COVID. It doesn't list COVID any anywhere specific in the bill. This is for anybody who's deemed a public health risk because of a communicable disease. It could be the flu. Two, upon determining by clear and convincing evidence that the health of others is or may be endangered by a case contact or carrier or suspected case contact or carrier of a contagious disease that, in the opinion of the governor, after consultation with the commissioner, may pose an imminent and significant threat to the public health resulting in severe morbidity or high mortality. The governor or his or her delegee, including but not limited to the commissioner or the heads of local health departments, may order the removal and or detention of such a person or a group of people uh, by issuing a single order identifying such persons either by name or by a reasonably specific description of the individuals or group being detained. So again, this could also uh, be applicable to a specific community, whether it be a community based on the race of the community, the sexual creed of the community. So this is this goes way beyond just like oh the unvaccinated, but it can be used for that too. But it also can be say they could reasonably and theoretically just say, uh, well the. The black community is the most unvaccinated, uh, at-risk community for COVID. So they could use that justification to say there's, uh, you know, that, that that's a public health risk and round them all up, you know, in like a neighborhood, a specific neighborhood, round them all up because they're not, they're a health risk for whatever reason by the statistics and put them into camps, guys. So, I mean, this is extremely, extremely dangerous, this bill. This is the most dangerous bill in America I've ever, ever heard of or seen extremely dangerous extreme remember new york is one of the most strict gun control states which means people aren't armed which means the government has this mentality that they have the more of an ability to push people around so th that's what the second amendment is about by the way it's not about i mean it's a, it's about defending yourself from criminals, you protecting your property, et cetera, protecting yourself and your family, but also, and it's also about protecting yourself from corrupt government, but 
what it really is intended to do, what the forefathers of the U.S. intended it for to do. Um, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent, but it's important to note. It's to have that attitude and that perception uh, of, of the public as being well-armed so that police and government uh, officials and government authority acts accordingly. It's like a firewall. It's like a, uh, it's like an insurance policy. Uh, not that it even has to be used, but the fact that it's there will make the government think twice before kicking in your door for no reason. Right, it's just there to make them think twice and to create that mutual respect. We're both armed. We both see eye to eye. We're both equal. So that's what that's about. So later on in the bill, in section twelve, it also states that said individuals or groups of individuals that are kidnapped and put into camps by the government by decree of the governor, um can be force vaccinated and medicated as well by decree of the governor. Just think about that. And it literally says that. So, um, quote, and this is in section 12, to require an individual who has been exposed or infected to a contagious disease to complete an appropriate prescribed course of treatment, preventative medication, or vaccination, including direct a uh, directly observed therapy to treat the disease and follow infection control provisions for the disease. So that's one of the uh, authorities it gives the government to determine just to do to you once you're ki- kidnapped by them to be able to force medicate or vaccinate you. So I'll leave a link to this bill. Extremely, extremely disconcerting, extremely disconcerting. The most disconcerting thing I've ever seen ever in U.S. politics ever. Um, I don't necessarily think there is a political solution uh, overall, but I think stopping this um, could go a long way. I'm not about to let Australia happen in New York State. I'm not about to let that happen, okay? I'm just not, I'm going to do everything in my power to stop that. I don't even live in New York. I live in Rhode Island. But let me tell you, it's not very far away. And if this bill is passed, New York State effectively becomes Australia, if not worse. So, if you want to stop this, this is where you got it. This is this, the buck stops here, right? Now, I also want to show you guys another bill. They're, they're voting on all these bills. There's four other bills in New York State that they're voting on. This is all happening in the next couple of weeks. All of these bills that I talk about right here are being voted on in January, 2022 bill S six, four, nine, five requires immunization of post-secondary students for COVID-19. So this is a vaccine mandate for basically all public schools and universities in New York state. On top of that, Bill A8398, which limits the exemptions for these man- mandatory vaccinations at schools and universities in New York State. So this bill, Bill A3- A8398, gets rid of the religious exemption altogether. Extremely draconian. And this bill... S75A relates to adult vaccination reporting requirements, which creates a database in the state of New York that will keep uh, track and record of everybody who's vaccinated and everybody who's unvaccinated, essentially, effectively. So this creates the database of, uh, you know, uh, problematic People who are unvaccinated and the uh, the approved um, goodlings, right? The goodlings, the goodlings who are vaccinated. So a database, and then lastly, Bill A eight three nine eight. Oh, that's the one I already talked about. And lastly, Bill S thirty forty one, which 
gets rid of parental consent for vaccinations and allows all children age 14, 15, 16, and 17, so as young as 14, to decide for themselves if they want to be vaccinated without the parent's consent or knowledge. Very, very draconian bills. I'll leave links for all that. Try to stop this in its tracks. Please go, especially to Bill A416. That'll be the first link. If you have time, do the rest too. But this is the most important. I ain't about to, I'm not about to see no camps in New York State. A lot of good people in New York. I'm not going to let that happen. You're not going to let that happen. You're going to go to nysenate.gov and leave a piece of your mind. Be respectful. Everybody can leave public comment. And I think there might be, see, find your senator and share your views. on. Find the senators, just find the senators and, and, and also write them. Okay, write them. But you can leave a public comment at the bottom of the bill too. get as much public awareness as possible around this bill in New York State. Share this with everybody. You can stop this now. They might do it anyway, but you just got to try, right? You got to try. So um, do that. Also, hey, follow me here on uh, well, YouTube. I'm going to put posts on YouTube, but also on BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble, Twitter, Gab. Join the Telegram group too if you can. We are always chatting over there. And if you want to help contribute to my channel, I have a Patreon you can contribute to. You can give as low as a dollar, as high as, well, obviously as much as you want. Uh, and then also uh, PayPal and crypto links too. Other than that, like, share, and subscribe. It's been Press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.